Welcome to Weld.com. I had a request on a, on a video shoot for students passing a 6G pipe test. I'm gonna, we're going to do a TIG route. We're going to do a MIG fill and cap. Going to run multiple stringer beads, probably a two bead fill and a three bead cap. Okay. There is another variation I want to talk about when we're doing the, the fills. We'll get to that when we run the MIG. But uh, I just want to run this route in here. Uh, I'm going to start up here. I've got about a loose eighth fit. My coupons have a little bit of a, a variation to them, a little tight up here. They were plasma cut. And uh, somebody probably moved or wiggled during the cut, so we don't have anything perfect. Don't need it. I've got uh, a 37 and a half degree bevel. I've got barely a 16th, barely a 16th, probably a 30 second land root face on here. Nothing hardly at all. So this is not one of my normal fits. My normal fit is wide open. Uh, feed the wire on the inside of the pipe, completely on the inside, a little bit of a root face, probably 332nd, wide open gap, 532nd to 316 so That's what I like to run. This one I've tightened up a little bit. Uh, seems to be a little easier to wash in there, so let me get my hood on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to get up underneath here and get comfortable. I was running off the Everlast Power TIG 185, uh, lift arc 105 amps, eighth inch filler wire ER70 S6. Shot that wire completely through there. Trying to rest that wire in that groove. Had a, a loose spot there. Groove gets a little tighter up here at the top. Coming up on terminating this weld, running into another on a part that's finished. I'm gonna heat this up. Crawl up on the side wall. Snap out of it. I'm going to take this down. I'm going to let it cool off a little bit. Uh, I, need, I need to get a flashlight. We're going to look in here and see what we got. Be right back. Okay, we've got our root pass finished. Four inch heavy wall. I was running off the Everlast Power TIG 185. Uh, lift arc 105 amps. And yeah, you know, we got a little bump in here, but we're fused. I think everything's looking okay so far. We're going to come back and we're going to do subsequent fill passes, stringer beads with gas metal arc welding. We're going to run an 030 wire and finish this thing out with, uh, with gas metal arc welding. Two bead fill, three bead cap. Okay. Uh, one thing I need to note here, the Iron Cat gloves. Uh, these were uh, from Westchester. These are pretty nice. I, I, I talked with Amanda Green out in Las Vegas during Fabtech show and Turn me on to these. They are, at first, they were really tacky, uh, pretty heat resistant. You can feel everything. I, you know, I kind of like them. So I was able to manipulate, felt comfortable, tough, cut resistance as well. So this concludes this part. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Subscribe to the videos.